Part two of my review here, uh, I'm doing a couple months after I reviewed the Mini as I received the Nano for review uh, a few months later. So part two of my review here will cover the Tripmate Nano. Uh, you know, you know, when I first received the Mini, I was like, wow, this is a really small device. But the Nano is like the little brother of, of the Mini. Uh, it's basically half the size and maybe a third of the weight. It's really small and very, very lightweight. Uh, I'll bring it up closer so you can see. It has the switch there for wireless and wired operation. Uh, the power uh, mini micro slot for charging and the uh, internet uh, port for wired plug-in use. Uh, and, and then, of course, on this side, there's a reset button and a USB plug as well. Uh, there's a couple LEDs on the top for showing uh, wireless operation and that it's connected to the LAN as well. Basically, with this, you get a set of instructions and a charging cable. Uh, the instructions themselves are okay, but I wish we'd kind of go into a little bit more detail than what they do. Uh, but they're okay for getting uh, the basics set up. Uh, like the, the Mini, this Nano can do almost everything that the Mini can do. It can function as a router, as a NAS for sharing files and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, using the USB plug for, you know, with a USB hard drive or thumb drive, things like that. Uh, the biggest difference with this one and probably what accounts for the size and weight uh, is it does not have a battery. Uh, so it has to be plugged into a wall outlet or a USB connection on your computer to function uh, and, and, and power up. Uh, and since there is no battery in this, there's no, you know, they've eliminated the off on switch and there also is no uh, mini SD card slot like there is on the mini. Uh, like the mini, you have to have the app, the Hutu app for either Android or Apple phone, which again is fairly simple to set up and, and use. It's basically works the same as the mini. Uh, and, uh, you know, all this, this does have its limitations, like, like the Mini, which has its own limitations. Uh, this does work pretty decent as a wired uh, router or a wireless router, uh, pretty good considering its size. Uh, you know, the, the media serving ability works pretty well. It transfers files pretty good and pretty quickly uh, and, and plays music or video through the app fairly well, too. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's fairly similar, you know, the biggest difference, of course, is the size, the weight, the battery. It, you know, if you want a little bit more features, then probably the, the Mini is the better uh, choice for you. But if you don't need all that uh, and, and really want something lightweight you could throw in your pocket, then this little Nano uh, is the way to go. Uh, like the Mini, I always suggest with these devices, make sure you go on first and check for firmware updates. Mine came with the latest. Uh, version uh, of the uh, firmware so I didn't have to update but of course make sure uh, you know as time goes along you check that uh, Hutu site. Uh, overall I, you know although I prefer I personally prefer the mini over this Nano uh, it is this Nano is a powerful little device on its own and, and, and good for travel uh, you know if you don't need an off on switch you don't need the battery power. You don't need the SD card slot. Uh, if those things aren't that big a deal, then for the price, this is a great, a great little tra travel companion. I give this four stars.